All right, this is the solution to quiz 13. It says calculate the Laplace transform of the ramp function g of t, and g of t equals t when t is 0 to 1, and g of t equals 1 when t is greater than 1. So the first thing I did is uh, just did the general formula, the Laplace transform. And so Laplace of g of t equals the integral from 0 to infinity of g of t times e to the negative st. And because it's is a piecewise function, you have to split the integral into two different integrals, for one from 0 to 1, since those are the bounds, and the other one from 1 to infinity. <coughs> you can see what I did there. Now to find this integral, you have to do, I have my little solution right here. You have to, um, the answer is going to be uv minus integral of v du. And I set um, u equal to t, so du is 1, and v is the integral of e to the negative st. And uh, so once you solve for that, you end up getting an equation that looks like this. And you're evaluating t e to the negative st over negative s from 0 to 1. And then you also have to find the integral for that and evaluate that from 0 to 1. And also, <clears throat> that is just the t part. So for the other half of the integral, you just have to find the integral of e to the negative st um, over from 1 to infinity, which uh, just, yeah, so I combined all three of these onto the next part, <clears throat> and this is where I'm solving for all three integrals and solving for the bounds and everything, and after evaluating it from the certain bounds that it comes with, I was left with e to the negative st, or e to the negative s over s minus e to the negative s over s squared minus 1 over s squared plus 0 plus, <coughs> no, it's actually 0 minus negative e to the s over s. So after you do all the algebra, figure that out, you get your final solution, which is negative e to the negative s over s squared plus 1 over x squared. Or if you after you simplify, <clears throat> it's 1 minus e to the negative s over s squared. And uh, just from that, you can see that s must be greater than 0. So that's the domain of the function. And uh, part 2 of the problem, it gave you this piecewise function, h of t. And if you take a look at it, h of t is just 3 times g of t, like 3, t uh, three times g of t plus 1. So the g of t was just t and 1, and so you can see 3 times g of t would be 3t plus 1. Yeah. Um, and when you're asking for the Laplace transform of this one, it's pretty much going like that. And so the Laplace of h of t would be 3 times the Laplace of g of t plus the Laplace of 1, since the linearity pr principle, you have to find the Laplace of 1. That simplifies to that. And that's your answer.